rape culture um, is a, a system of, of policies, pop culture, institutions, um, just kind of the world around us that, whether kind of implicitly or explicitly, condones um, sexual assaults. Um, and that may be through a victim blaming headline that suggests, you know, a woman shouldn't have been drinking or shouldn't have been been out. Um, or maybe it's a school policy that doesn't go far enough to, to punish sexual abusers. That's all part of rape culture. I do think that rape culture is, is particularly prevalent on college campuses. Um, I think the, the combination of young people and, and new students and um, systems that <laughs> don't necessarily have the, the resources to, to deal with sexual assaults um, make for a, a particularly dangerous combination. Um, a lot of college students will be raped during their time at college, and a lot of them won't get the support that they need, um, not just on a, a health level or an emotional level, but also in, in terms of pursuing um, justice legally. I think um, there are a couple of problems in terms of the, the rape culture being sustained on college campuses. Um, probably one of the biggest is that we don't have um, kind of proactive systems and classes and, and education in place um, that are preventative rather than after the fact. I think that um, to, to address rape culture more effectively on college campuses, we need to take a more proactive approach. Um, this needs to be a conversation that we're not just having at a freshman orientation, but a conversation that we're having all year, every year throughout a student's um, you know, time at college, and that it's not just um, a kind of a surface level conversation, but an in-depth, uh, nuanced conversation that, that talks about sexual assault in a way that really puts the focus on the perpetrator and, and doesn't um, kind of do the, the usual general thing that a lot of people do, which is blame the victim by saying, well, don't go to this bar, don't go out drinking, watch your drink, watch what you wear. Um, I think that one of the biggest hurdles that we have in chipping away at rape culture is that we don't have a widely understood, culturally accepted definition of rape. That's why you'll hear words like date rape, gray rape, legitimate rape, forcible rape. Um, because at the end of the day, rape isn't enough. We don't understand what that means. So that's really a, a huge hurdle that we have to, to overcome as a nation, not just on campuses. If I could give one piece of advice to, to young women starting college, it would be to find community, um, no matter what that means to them. Maybe it's community online. Maybe it's you know joining a sorority, joining a club. I think that college can be really difficult to navigate, especially when you first get there, and having the support um, not just of friends, but of a community of people that you trust can be really important. Um, in addition to giving them the, the piece of advice that I gave young women, which is to find community, I would really encourage young men to think about taking uh, gender studies classes and women's and gender studies classes. I think that there's a stereotype that these things um, like feminism and women's studies classes are really just for women, but sexism really impacts men negative, uh, negatively as well. Um, and I think that they could really benefit from learning about these issues as, as young people and take it with them through their whole lives.